What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at these candy golf carts sold at Lowe's, possibly Home Depot. I know also Coleman is, um, they were sold under the Coleman name as well. I don't own one of these. I just thought they're really nice looking golf carts or LSVs. Now LSV stands for low speed vehicle. Uh, the difference between the golf cart and the LSV is the golf cart will go 20 miles an hour. The LSV has to be titled, registered, insured, just like a regular car to be street legal, and they can go 25 miles per hour. Um, I don't own one of these, like I said. If you do, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about it. But in this video, I just kind of want to go over some of the features and things that I saw that I really like about it. Just kind of show the mechanical aspect of them. We're going to take some up close um, looks at it and go over some of the specs. All right. But real quick, let me thank my newest uh, Mechanical Mind member, Chavez Construction LLC. Thank you for becoming a member. And also, this video is sponsored by the YouTube channel Dogefall. If you guys got kids, and they play that game Roblox, check out his channel. Uh, I think your kids will really like it. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show, gonna go over the specs, prices, things of that nature. Uh, these things are pretty interesting. So before I show you some of the footage that I took, let's start off with the base model, the Cruiser 2 passenger. They call it the 2P, starting at $10,999. Now it's got some cool features. This one has a tow capacity of 1,500 pounds. The dry weight on this one is 1,435 pounds. Another cool feature of this one is it has a dump bed and you can put 500 pounds in that dump bed. Unfortunately, none of the stores that I visited had this particular model, but I wanted to cover it in case you guys were interested. Next up is the Cruiser 4P coming in at 10,499. It also has a range of 40 miles, and they say the charge up time is 6.5 hours on a regular 120 volt outlet. It's got a 5,000 watt motor. Dry weight on this one is 1,455 pounds. And despite the claims of it only being 20 pounds heavier than the 2P, the towing capacity has been drastically reduced to only 300 pounds. All right, next up we got the Cruiser 6P coming in at 12,499 or for the lithium 13,699. This model also has electric power steering. This thing looks super cool. The range has been reduced by three miles down to 37 miles of range and that's probably because it weighs 242 pounds heavier than the 4P. Now, outside of this Lowe's in Central Florida, we have two of the 4Ps and two of the 6Ps. Now, what I want you to notice is that the paint on this black one, I think the black just comes in black plastic with no paint. So you can see it's faded compared to this red one. And the blue one and the silver also looks painted. Now, this is a Coleman, which is also made by Candy, and I'll show you that tag later on. But I wouldn't get that black one because it looks like it's going to fade. I would get one that's painted. Now even though these come with a 24 month or a 2 year limited warranty, I still would avoid that black. Now there's one other thing that I noticed. See that smooth finish on this one that's marked candy? The smooth finish on the powder coating of that bumper. And on this Coleman over here, I'm going to show you a close up momentarily it's more of a textured finish which was the exact opposite of those four that i just showed you outside this one's marked coleman electric golf cart same specs everything very nice mo very nice uh, golf carts they're identical okay except for the texture on this on this uh, bumper compared to this one, which this was just outside. It had the textured finish similar to this one. Now this is the 4P and this is the 6P that's marked as a candy brand and see how it's smooth. 
Now let's take a closer look at the ID tag here. They're made in Dallas, Texas. I like that. By SC Auto Sports LLC. Got the VIN number there. Now on the driver's side, you have a tag on this one that just has the uh, serial number or the VIN number. But on the passenger side, it's a tag identical SC Auto Sports cruiser model. So it's made by the same company. I don't know why that textured powder coating is different. I would probably go one with, with the texture, but I do love the seats. The seats are all the same. Really nice feel. Uh, they feel very high quality. They feel durable. Grab handles here, as you saw my daughter hanging on one earlier. And that plastic, I think that black is going to just fade too quickly. I would want one that's definitely got a paint job on it. I do like this interior. All the, the fit and finish and feel of everything felt very, very high quality. Now this is the 4P model. So you got two passengers that would face towards the rear. And this is the 6P model. A lot longer. Six passenger. I like this diamond plate floor there. Let's peek underneath here. Here's the framework. You got hydraulic lines. You got hydraulic brakes. You have drum brakes on the rear. Disc brakes on the front. And there's a look at that motor, 5,000 watt motor. And notice that frame is like a sway bar. You will notice a difference in the wheels between the, the models. They look very similar. Solid rear axle. Independent front suspension on all of these. There's that Coleman brand badge again, but the same exact motor. Now these do have two different batteries in these two that I'm going to show you. One has the lithium and one has the series of AMG batteries. Overall, it looks very simple to work on. My kids are going crazy. They, they're they loving it. They're hoping we're going to buy one. There's your port to plug it up to charge it. This is on the 4P. Now let's go take a look at the plug for the 6P with the lithium battery. Plug sticks out a little bit more. More likely to get caught on your passenger's feet or something. The battery is located right underneath this rear seat. And man, does that look expensive. Uh, they're both rated at 48 volts, whether you have the AGM batteries or this lithium. And they're both rated at 150 amp hours. There's the connections there. It's a very, very clean the way they've routed all the wires. It doesn't look very congested. It looks very simple. Well put together, well built. I'm really liking it. Now I'm going to show you guys the series of six AGM batteries hooked up together. So together, this is also creating 48 volts, 150 amp hours. And real quick guys, I want to show you the difference in the wheels. This one's actually on the 6P. Looks like more of a flat face. They have the same tires on each side, on each model, but the wheels are slightly different. You can see the difference here on the wheels but same size tire. They look pretty good, look very aggressive. Look like, like they would get through some dirt and some sand pretty well. Again, you got drums on the rear. Um, 
disc on the front and no matter what model you have there's a nice close-up of those discs they're not huge but I'm sure they they stop pretty well for this light of a vehicle independent front suspension on these now I want to take a look at the thickness of the frame I want to look at the gauge of it so I'm going to pull this plastic cap off of here and sorry guys I don't have a tape measure or any type of gauge with me but it looks like it's about an eighth of an inch thick of the wall so pretty decent really like these golf carts that six passenger looks so awesome I like the headlights I like this front basket that you can get on it on this model here I think it's available on all the models very rigid very sturdy very well built it seems now another cool feature on the rear facing seat underneath there you flip it up and there's a storage compartment underneath here now on the website they show it a picture of it uh, full of drinks and ice so you could probably do that I'm not sure if it's really made to be a cooler but a cool idea I think and another option that they had was a winch now this is a photo from the candy website so maybe they come with a winch but for me I really like that six passenger one it's a little bit of a steep price for me but I really do like it I can't help but think how cool it would be to maybe put some solar panels on that top roof and then could it just you know charge itself up in the sun but my kids really liked it they had a good time I really like these golf carts if you have one uh, comment below if you like it now guys don't get me wrong I'm not a big fan of this whole thing of everything turning electric I don't I'm not a big fan of electric cars or anything like that but I do see uh, battery powered stuff and smaller applications being very useful for like my impact tools and things like that. I even have like a uh, electric trimmer and things like that. But that 2P model could be a good alternative to say like gas powered side by sides. Um, for example, uh, we have a lot of customers that have gators, John Deere gators, and one common issue is that they don't use it quite enough. They don't drive them enough. Like they might have um, a gator that might sit for a week or two and you know, going uh, having that 2P model that has that 1,500 pound tow capacity comes with a two inch receiver hitch and a dump bed. Um, I don't know if that dump bed is a manual dump bed or electric. It'd be really cool if it was electric. It'd be really cool if it was electric with the option of being manual. That would be best. Um, like I said, they didn't have that one at any of the stores that I visited. So I don't know if it's electric or manual operated, but that could be a good alternative to some of you guys that may have like a side-by-side -side that has to sit for quite a long time. You don't have to worry about that gas going bad, carburetor, oil changes and all that stuff. So that might be an alternative to look into. They're all expensive. Um, so that being said, it, that, that 2P might be actually a little less expensive than a lot of the Gators. And another idea is that, man, I just kept thinking when I was looking at that six passenger one, that long roof. Um, I follow some guys. I, we used to have an RV and a travel trailer, and I was always wanting to put solar panels on the roof. And I still would like to do something like that. Uh, I just I can't help but think, like, are, the solar, are there some solar panels you could put on there to where you could not only you could still plug it in, but also... Have it where when you're not when it's just sitting there maybe you're at a campsite or whatever using it and you put it out in the sun you're charging up that battery i think that would be really really cool um, but anyway that's going to wrap it up for this video hope you'll like the like the video and share it subscribe to the channel and i'll have more videos like this coming soon guys i got some more mowers we're going to be do, uh, reviewing um, so stay tuned and i'll have more 
for you coming soon. Thanks for watching.